And so here I am enjoying the rest of my corned beef hash with melted cheese on it. Look at that, man. And it's free. See, they got, there's a table over there. You see the table that people are grabbing the food over there. Yeah. Look at all the donuts. Mm. So what were you saying? Spengali episode, how Spengali comments on the different parts of the movie. Yeah. And he makes fun of it, kind of, you know. And what's your name, sir? Dave. Dave who? Mercado. Yeah, and you ran the Chicago Marathon, didn't you? Mm -hmm. 26 miles? And how, how, and how long did it take you to do that? Four hours. Four hours exactly? Yeah, 359s. Wow. Three hours and 59 minutes. Three hours and uh, 59 minutes. That's awesome. It probably would have taken me like eight if I made it. I guess, you know, th yeah, but then there's the fact that, you know, I got over my prostate cancer. Uh, oh, yeah. Sure, that, you know, it wouldn't have been good for me to do that long distance. Oh, you mentioned the prostate, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, I got rid of it. I got healed. Jesus healed me, and he used the doctors to do it, brother. You know, you don't always, you don't just always just rely on prayer. Well, they put their hands on me and it's gone. You don't know that because if the doctors say there's cancer in there, they did a biopsy and they found cancer. And some guy from another church put his hands on me. They prayed for me. They prayed that I wouldn't have to get the operation. But you know what? The biopsy said I had cancer. So am I going to just say, well, they prayed for me, so I'm okay? Or am I going to use my common sense? And those doctors did a test, and they found cancer in seven seven areas of my prostate, brother. So I'm, I'm going to say, I better get that removed. I'm not going to say, well, they prayed for me, so I don't have to get the operation. God gave us a brain, and God does use doctors. He doesn't just always do natural remedies, which he does. Natural he remedies brain, heal, right? he but he all, yeah, he gave us a brain. Yeah, thank right. you to use our gray matter, and and um, and also common sense. God, you know, and God uses doctors. That's why you know Luke was a doctor. The book of Luke. Luke was a physician. So you know, and God and Jesus heals. Jesus, Jesus is the great physician. Jesus is the great physician, brother. So you know, God uses doctors also, and He also uses uh, surgery, just like brother the pastor said. He said sometimes, sometimes we need surgery, and surgery cuts, but it can also heal. Amen, brother. Amen. Say amen, brother. Amen. So God uses people, and and if you if there's something wrong with you and it does not going away, and you have cancer, don't say. Well, it's slow growing, so it's okay. Because people say, oh, that's a slow growing cancer. Like, you don't have to do anything about it because it's slow growing. But if you keep that attitude for five, ten years, five, ten years from now, you might be, uh, you know, going through the pearly gates. I mean, you're, you're going to die. What are you saying? What? scientists and the doctors they have the knowledge and god gives it to them yes and 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 look at the technology you know i've got laparoscopic robotic surgery and they got rid of it without the traditional surgery and i healed fast i'm a fast healer anyway i'm the rock man i i work out i eat good and uh, that's for a reason why i'm strong at 57 that's why I'm so spunky at 57. That's why I'm still making my monster moves. I'm still doing things that I enjoy. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying my life, brother. And I believe in Jesus. I've accepted the free gift of salvation. I'm not saved by works. I'm saved by the free gift. Jesus saves anybody. Even people like me that make monster movies. Brother, and I make comedy monster movies. Mine aren't all gory and depressing. I like to entertain people and give them laughs. Oh, hey, what do you got to say, brother? What do you got to say to that? I'll say everybody amen. Has, amen, brother yeah. Rock. I like that's good preaching. I know good preaching when I hear it. I'm going to amen myself, brother. Everybody, right? everybody has a certain interest. You know? That's right. Everybody's yeah. different. And God doesn't just save the people that act like everybody else. God saves every person as an individual. Like Brother Hines even said it. Jesus doesn't save crowds. He saves individuals. I heard him say it. And the Bible teaches that. Jesus saves the individual. You have to come to Christ yourself say, Jesus saved me, I'm a sinner. You can do that in the privacy of your home. You can do that when you're driving in your car. Just don't close your eyes when you're driving, though. Keep your eyes open when you're on the road, you know. But you can pray with your eyes open. Just say, Jesus, come into my heart. Save me. No matter where you are, whether you're walking down the street, while you're jogging, while you're walking your dog, while you're watching TV, and let's say you have the desire to accept Jesus. Just say, Jesus, Come into my heart and save me. I don't want to go to hell, you know. Forgive me of all my sins. We're all sinners. We, we sin every day. I sin every day, too. But Jesus saves sinners. And we're all sinners. I, hey, we all fall short every day, brother. None of us are perfect except God. 
Amen, brother. I, you know, I'm going to dunk my donut for that. For that, just for that, I'm going to dunk a donut for Dr. Swap. I failed Dave Piper and Rhonda. I'm going to dunk this for Rhonda because she doesn't like the dunk. <laughs> and Janet doesn't like the dunk neither. I don't like dunking. I'm going to dunk it anyway. Janet, vampire woman, she does not like the dunk. Because you, know, you got to be careful when you dunk so it doesn't fall apart. But these are pretty solid. They're like a rock. They're like me, David the Rock, because I got rocks in my head. So you got to dunk it in, that, in your java right there. Like that. Mm. Yeah. And you gotta dunk the cream puff for the mummy. You gotta do it for the mummy. Especially when we're in church. And you gotta dunk it for Frankenstein. Because we're in church in the, in the coffee hour. And you can have fun. And you don't act religious because Jesus saves people that aren't religious. Jesus saves anybody. Sinners. Jesus saves sinners, brother. Amen. Yeah, you got to dunk that uh, cream puff. <laughs> um, yeah. And that's good. Anyway, you don't have to act like a holier now to make it in heaven because Jesus saves anybody. You might, you might not even go to church at all, but Jesus can still save you no matter who you are because Jesus saves sinners. You might be a really bad, mean guy. You know, you might kick your dog and stuff, but Jesus can forgive you of that. And um, you might be on drugs. You might have been in a gang. You know, you might have been a homosexual or a lesbian. Jesus can save you, brother, no matter what you've done. Because Jesus understands, and he understands everything about you. He knows why you do it. And he loves you no matter what. Amen, brother. Okay, I'll see you. I gotta shut up. Uh, you know, I'm getting ready for church. This new fiend, David the Rock Nelson. Fiend me on Facebook and become my fiend. You know, my friend. And um, yeah, Jesus saves.